All right, what's going on? I was going to do a little critique on this ad that I saw one of my clients running on Facebook because there's a couple of things that need to be done differently so that he stays safe and doesn't risk getting the ads account shut down. Okay, uh, so number one is if you're going to require, I haven't even gone to the landing page yet, but I'm going to assume if he's giving us a free guide or, or you know, he's giving us a guide that he's going to ask for our name and email. So if you do that, if you're asking for people's opt-in, you can't call it a free thing. Or you can say sign up for this free guide, right? You have to tell people that they're going to have to give information in order to get the thing. It can't say that it's free and then when they get there they have to opt in, okay? that's um, Facebook considers that to be a bait and switch, so you have to be upfront about that. Um, so, you know, I just see where it says free guide, you know, free guide. Another thing is I see he's running the um he's running the traffic directly to lead pages and i definitely do not recommend that uh lead pages have had issues in the past and their entire url was blacklisted for a while so you always want to run the traffic if possible to your own website you know lead pages click funnels um insta pages they all have WordPress plugins and ways that you can, you know, use a different URL than the lead pages URL, okay, on Facebook. So definitely recommend those two changes here for for the ad, okay? And the picture looks pretty good. Um, so let's see what the landing page looks like. Okay. So one thing is that when you get here, like the way that this looks isn't the way it looks here right so there's some congruency issues there so I would suggest that he's using this picture or something similar to this on the landing page so that when you get here it's the same right okay the five biggest mistakes first time homebuyers make and how to avoid them okay alright so I see that he does have his NMLS ID here that's really good now probably from a mortgage standpoint he needs to have more than that I think it's probably required to have your name, your NMLS ID, your office address, and your office phone number. Those things are probably, and maybe even your uh, company name, and also equal housing opportunity. So all those things are probably required, and you know that would be you, you should add that here at the bottom. There's also a disclaimer text that I'll put in the post wherever I make put this video and that you should add here in the bottom as well that tells people that your page is not affiliated or associated with Facebook so click here on your email address to receive your report see so here it's even saying just you know enter your email over here said enter your email but then when you get here they want your name email and phone number right so before you can get the report so yeah I mean it's, this is a good funnel this page works really well but you know there's some congruency issues where you know you've got this family in the house and then you get here and you've got this thing and here it says that it's free and you get here and it says you know enter your email and then you come over here it says enter your email but yet they want all three things so you, know, you just have to look at that to keep you know keep some consistency same thing with the button colors this button is yellow this button is blue you know so I'd keep some consistency there, but overall it's a good funnel. It's one that you can use and kind of mirror for yourself. It works really well anytime you're offering some kind of giveaway. You just have to be a little bit more upfront uh, on the ad.